Hey everybody, this is Andy, AG Auto Works. There's Gabe. Hey Gabe! Yo! Okay, so we got uh, crank trigger set up right here. Um, this is a uh, Gen 4 CB fuel injection uh, dual throttle body setup. I um, just want to show you uh, some of the serpentine belt kind of kit setup stuff. Um, this one you can see right here. So this sensor, this pickup, in relation to this trigger wheel is not very square. You can see it's kind of off center. There's witness marks on the outside of this trigger wheel right here, like the sensor's been scraping on here. Uh, I did a real quick um, feeler gauge test and it was right at, at 20 thousandths, which is where it should be, but it looks like it's previously been rubbed on. You can see that its alignment isn't straight. Um, kind of a common, like maybe issue with your serpentine belt setups if you have this kind of trigger wheel is uh, maybe people don't know that CB offers a adapter kit that's right here. Comes with this little spacer. Also comes with this shim right here. Whoa, throwing stuff already. Uh, and what it does is, is it spaces out the trigger pickup right here from the wheel right here. And it spaces this sensor out, or this bracket, I should say, out. So it gets a better alignment on the uh, uh, crank position sensor, which is kind of a key thing in pretty much any like EFI setup, but especially this one. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install that spacer kit because if you look very carefully right in here it might be kind of hard to see but right in there what they've done is they've just used some washers like some standard washers to space the crank position sensor out because if you look if they get any closer right in there it would hit the pulley right here so we're gonna install the spacer kit with the uh, longer bolt. They also give you a longer bolt for the spacer to kind of make everything line up and match better. So yeah, we're gonna burn the midnight oil. We're going to uh, get that along with a host of other issues on this car, uh, kind of uh, situated better, uh, uh, better condition I would say. And then hopefully it'll be off to the dyno tomorrow. Um, and we can uh, make some tuning pulls on this thing and hopefully get it to run a little bit better. So yeah, I'll uh, probably post with some uh, progress and uh, we'll catch you later guys.